The Detroit Lions had a very odd draft class, with a lot of Lions fans not liking who they took and where they took them. And to be honest with you, I'm not really sure myself as to why they took Jameer Gibbs, but Jack Campbell is a very good option and Hendon Hooker was a steal where they got him. So let's win a Super Bowl with the Lions. Before we get into the rebuild, I just want to let you guys know less than 1% of people who watch my videos are subscribed and as a small content creator it would mean the world to me if you went down below and hit that sub button because I would love to grow at a rapid rate but I'm grinding out videos for you guys and if you can help me out by letting me know down in the comments below who you want me to rebuild next that would also be great and let's try to get this video to 10 likes. This Lions team isn't as bad as people think it is. They are really good in my opinion. Uh, they had a really good end of the season last year. And I actually think they're pretty underrated and could be playoff contenders this year, depending on how things pan out. I mean, in Madden, in Madden, I probably don't think they will be. But in real life, they could be because Jared Goff is still a solid quarterback. I think he's like one of those guys who gets tossed to the side because he of what he used to be and he's not playing up to that so people don't think he's good anymore but I think he's solid I mean there's not really much to say about this offense uh, the offensive line is really good uh, they got Sam Laporta in the draft um, and they got Jameer Gibbs I'm probably gonna have Jameer Gibbs start over David Montgomery and I'm probably gonna start Hendon Hooker over Jared Goff just because I really don't want to be trying to upgrade a quarterback who's not really going to upgrade um so jameson williams is obviously a rookie he's going to be playing in the slot for me and this defense i have to change it up a little bit i'm probably going to switch it to a 4-3 just because they play better in the game but i gave brian branch star dev and jack campbell star dev um i'm probably going to put jack campbell as linebacker one and put him in the uh in the sub linebacker role so that he gets a ton of tackles and can upgrade quickly for the most part there's not much to talk about i think their draft class was pretty underwhelming from what people wanted from them but i feel like they got a ton of good players like jameer jameer gibbs is good hendon hooker can be good he shouldn't he showed sparks in the nfl and i feel like people just don't care or thought it was a system i i, I want to see him do well i think it'd be cool and then obviously you have Jack Campbell, a very, very good linebacker they got, and Brian Branch, who's a really good safety. So I think they got a lot of good positions where they could, and obviously they could have gone, you know, Will Levis or something like that, if I remember correctly, and they didn't, but I honestly, I don't hate that decision from them, so I'm going to rearrange the team, and we're going to sim to the midseason mark. We are 1-5 in five at the midseason mark, and I'm going to be honest, I think that's kind of surprising um, because of the way the team is put together. Uh, it could be because I have Hendon Hooker playing, but he's 12 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. That's not bad with 1,500 yards. Rushing, Jameer Gibbs has 396 yards, 1 touchdown. Receiving, Jameer Gibbs has 337 yards and 2 touchdowns, so he's, re he's doing good in both categories. Um, I really need to see a step up in these three guys down the board defense let's look at sacks romeo quora has three levi i don't even know how to pronounce that so i'm not even going to try aiden hutchinson only has one sack that sucks jack campbell has two interceptions he's doing good so i guess i'll see you at the end of the season i'm going to try to keep the same playbook i don't really want to change it up but i also have to do my scouting so i'll meet you at the end of the season so we go five and twelve in our first season that's obviously not good by any means, and I don't know why. I mean, 4,300 yards for Hendon Hooker, 36 touchdowns to only 13 interceptions. Obviously not the best season, but not bad. 1,000 yards for Jameer Gibbs with seven touchdowns, very solid. David Montgomery, 363 for six. It's not bad at all. Jameson Williams, that's what more what I wanted to see, the 1,100 yards, 11 touchdowns. Amon Ross St. Brown, only 800, 7 touchdowns. But Jameer Gibbs has 600 yards, 2 touchdowns. Very solid showing from him. That it, It's like what you want to see from your running back, especially when, it's, when he's in the Panthers playbook. 
because I wanted to play, to play the more Christian McCaffrey like role. So it's good to see him actually stepping into that. Aiden Hutchinson with six and a half sacks. Romeo Cora with four. This guy with four. Uh, interception wise, Jack Campbell had six. Holy cow, he went crazy. He had one hell of a season. So we're going to take a look at yearly awards because we didn't make the playoffs. Obviously, it's not going to change much. No Lions for NFL MVP. For NFC uh, Offensive Player of the Year, no Lions. That's sad to see. Defensive Player of the Year, Jack Campbell's at three, so he definitely won Defensive Offensive Rookie of the Year is Jameer Gibbs. Amazing. Defensive Rookie of the Year is Jack Campbell. That is another win for us. This young team is building, so that's what you love to see. Um, I guess I'll re see you at re-signings, uh, unless uh, there's something important that pops up between then. Alex and Anzalone. Anzalone is here. I don't know if we're going to be bringing him back. There's just not a lot of like talent here that really makes sense to bring back. I mean, I'm going to see if we can get Will Harris to come back. Uh, our corners right now kind of suck. He doesn't want to come back, so I'm not going to you know, sit here and try to get him here. Um, so we're just going to go to free agency and see what we can get. But before free agency, this is something I wanted to look at. Um, I want to look at the team and see where we are as a team, see where we can kind of build. I think our wide receivers, our core is really good. I think I want to keep them around. I think we could get better with our defensive line obviously Aiden Hutchinson is a really good option but he's not the best and I'm not going to replace him but he's also with a bunch of other people who aren't really that good there's no like talent to help him get better um, and our corners are terrible right now I don't know how they're going to play in real life but right now they are terrible um and so that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at right now. I think we uh, we change up the scheme a little bit going into next season. I don't think we played the best from all aspects of the ball. So we go into free agency and see if we can upgrade some of these areas uh, because I really do want to win a Super Bowl with this team. And I know it's possible. We just have to upgrade in the right spots. In free agency, there's a couple options that we could try i mean we could go an older cornerback and just try to get them on the team to help but i don't think that is really the best option because you want to you know get a guy that's going to stay for a little bit whenever you're going into free agency because i don't want to you know just patch things up with a bandage and hope i, I want to make sure we can sure up that position I do think Josh Allen is a player I want to go for. It's going to be hard to get him. Uh, I think we're going to go very play, player friendly and see if he wants to even be a Lion. And it looks like he does. So we're going to send that through. He's really the only player I'm interested in. And Josh Allen is a Lion. So let's go put him in this team real quick. I, I think we're going to slot him in at... I think he actually just fills in the left outside linebacker role, if I'm correct. And he does. He, he's really solid over there. He would be a very good addition to help Aiden Hutchinson. Um, I think in the draft, we're going to be looking for cornerback and defensive line. And maybe a quarterback um, if Hendon Hooker isn't the guy that we think he is. Um, in real life, he may not be, but in the game, you never know. So it looks like we have the second pick in the draft. Um, the head that's not good because of how bad we did last season but i think it, it's, it's fine it's not that big of a deal we just get a better clock. player and we also have pick 32 uh because i think the rams won the super bowl if that's that's pretty much how that worked i think we're gonna go with marquise fairly uh he was high on my list of players and he just looks like a right fit kind of thing and i mean he's a top five talent so you got to take him. 6'3", 95 speed. Selection. That's really good. They're With hidden development, block. that's also really good. I don't know. I don't think there's any other guys that I really want to take in the first round. Um, the some of these guys Lions that I was looking at are like 1-2. to two. Ooh, uh, 
when it comes to this. And it looks like the left outside linebacker I wanted to grab isn't here anymore. So I'll go Daniel Williams. Uh, kind of sure up our corners back a little bit more. 5'11", 94 speed, clock. hidden development as well. Two hidden dev corners in the same draft is really good. Um, I don't know who I'm going to go here. Uh, this could be kind of an iffy one. I think I may go Amir Callahan. I did want to upgrade our defensive line a little bit. They were lacking hidden development as well. 6'6", 92 strength. 3 for 3 for hidden development. That is... I, I don't think it's a record for me, but I think that's really good With for the me. Next selection, and the Lions are I, on the clock. Mm, I hope someone's still here. Justin Dillinger, Justice Dillinger. I think we gotta go him. He was he looked really good on my board. Only and normal development. On clock, uh, but we did need a right guard Cardinals. or left guard. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but because no one else is on my board, I don't, don't want to just take random picks. I'll let the CPU do the rest, and let's go look at the team. Going into year number two, this is what we're looking like. We're going to have Hendon Hooker start again. Jameer Gibbs is going to be the running back. And then our receivers look really good. Jamison Williams is going to play in the slot. Uh, Dillinger was a 76 overall, so he's going to slot in at our right guard position and play really well for us. And I know we didn't get the upgrades we kind of wanted on the like offensive line a little bit, or defensive line, I mean. But Chris Harris, Charles Harris, can play left end for us. And I think I'm going to do that. It looks like he's a solid left end, not even just bad. I think we're going to change him to that. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's good for us. Oh, I probably should have changed him to right end. All good. But we have Emmanuel Mosley and then our two rookies playing corner. Our defensive tackle instantly became to tackle one for our team. I think this is a, I mean, I said it last year, but I think this is a solid team. Fits maybe, our fits our scheme a tad bit better. Um, so I think offensively, if we can step it up, I think we'll play well. But we'll take a look at the midseason mark. So I'll meet you there. At the midseason mark, we're one and five once again, and it's actually kind of concerning with how bad our record is. And Hendon Hooker, it just doesn't seem like he's the guy. I, I wanted to test him out, and I did. Two seasons of piss poor performance just doesn't cut it. So we may be moving on from him. Jameer Gibbs, 400 yards, one touchdown. Receiving Marvin Jones, 400 yards. Not the best receiving stats because, you know, our quarterback isn't really doing the best. Jameer Gibbs should step it up in the passing game. But defensively, Jack Campbell's leading the team with sacks or tackles. That's really not surprising. Josh Allen and Aiden Hutchinson are eating quarterbacks up. And Daniel Williams and Brian Branch each have an interception to their name. Not the best defensive showings, but we're going to send to the end of the season. Hopefully we can get a quarterback. And I am going to change up our playbook a little bit, so maybe we play better in the second half, but let's find out. So we picked it up a little bit, going 7-10, and 10, but it's still really not where I want it to be. Let's take a look at the stats, though. Hendon Hooker, 4,300 yards, 33 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Rushing, Jameer Gibbs with 1,200 yards, 12 touchdowns, and receiving... No receiver over a thousand yards, but Jameer Gibbs gets 500 with four touchdowns. A really good year for him, from him. And defensively, nine and a half sacks for Aiden Hutchinson, 6.5 for Josh Allen. Interception wise, Brian Branch with two, Marquise Fairley with two, and CJ Gardner Johnson with two. Let's take a look at our rookies' deb traits. I should have done it at the middle of the season, um, but I kind of just forgot. So let's look at them now and see what they're at. And it doesn't look like anything changed on the offense. Let's look at the defense. And star dev for all of the rookies we got. Not bad by any means. We still have a very good, you know, defensive group and offensive group. I think it's just the playbooks. I've been I've been messing with them a little bit. So I'm hoping this new playbook is better than the last one, but obviously we can't test it out till next season and Hopefully we get an upgrade in some positions next season. The Packers end up winning the Super Bowl, but there's no notable Lions for any of the big awards. 
So we're just going to skip to re-signing. I don't really know what to do here. I want to keep Jonah Jackson. He's a really solid player for us. So a very player-friendly deal. And he's just not interested in signing. And I don't think it's worth the $17 million a year. I think we can try to get him in free agency. Or maybe there's a better option. Um, Riley Patterson, can get. I can get in free agency for cheaper, most likely. There's not really much more talent here that I'm looking at getting. Um, I guess I'll just throw, sauce him this deal, see if he takes it here. And he's going to test free agency. No big deal. We're just going to head over there and grab him up anyway. So we got to go scoop up, you know, our players that we got left in free agency. Jonah Jackson, massive one. Uh, he doesn't want to be here because of the, our scheme. I could change the scheme to go to nav him. But we're just going to give him that player-friendly deal again. Up the money a little bit more. And hopefully no other team is really offering on him. The Bears are. Ah, oh, the Bears, the Bears, the Bears, the Bears. Um, I think we go five years. Six mil in both of these. It's a lot of money to pay. But... It's cheaper than franchise tagging him. And we do have the lead on him. I'm hoping he signs with us. Um, we're looking for someone to play the left end role uh, or the D tackle role. Ed Oliver would be a really good option. Um, it's just, does he want to be here? Very player friendly deal for him as well. And we're not winning on him. I really want him as a defensive player though. I think he's got high upside um, and he's also just really solid in general so I'd give him more money throw throw money at him and see if we can get him that's good with me um, cornerback wise I think trying to go after AJ Terrell would be amazing as well but my issue is the money because we're saucing a lot of money in this free agency and we may not get them that's my issue AJ Terrell, we're still trying to work on. I need to get our kicker uh, before I do anything else. Is there anyone who actually wants to be here that's a kicker? Um, Aaron De Devlin. Fuck it, sauce you a deal. Whatever. Let's look at my signings. Ed Oliver and Jonah Jackson all resign. Let's sauce that through again. We get AJ Terrell and the kicker. So we get everyone we want. So our team is going to be looking much, much better even before we go into the draft. And so here's what our team is looking like. Hendon Hooker is up to a 77 overall. Jameer Gibbs is up to an 87. And then you obviously have, you know, our new players that we got, AJ Terrell and Ed Oliver. But Jack Campbell is up to a superstar X factor, which is very, very good for us. And Brian Branch is now the starter. It was switching between these two and Kirby Joseph, but it, I guess it just didn't work out for Kirby Joseph. We're looking for a right end in the draft and also a wide receiver, but I'm thinking we trade away Emmanuel Monsley. Uh, we don't really need him right now. Uh, we kind of have all of those bases covered when it comes to it. He's a highly sought after guy, it looks like. Um, I'm not actually sure why and I don't really know what we're gonna be looking for I guess I guess we can look for a wide receiver in here just someone who can kind of fill that slot that there is um, it's not gonna be anybody crazy good so it's not gonna be any it's not gonna be like Drake London or anything like that and they don't feel like that's feasible I agree it's not really realistic either Panthers or Panthers the Falcons just got him, so it doesn't make sense to do that. I kind of want to get a Christian Kirk would be kind of cool to get. He would be a very good addition to this team. It's not even close. I would throw in a pick for that kind of deal, but it it just doesn't seem feasible. Snagging Christian Watson from the Packers would be an amazing steal, but that's not even close. The Panthers have a ton of receivers. Terrence Marshall. He's a work kind of guy. Like we have to work on him and put him in the slot. But I think he's very doable. And we can 
see if they give us a third and him and it's a done deal we get um terrence marshall jr he's going to slot in as our third receiver and i'm probably going to put him at slot um over you know amon ross st brown it just makes more sense for him to be in the slot than that so this is what our team's looking like i really need to get a left end or right end in the draft but hopefully there is one. Sometimes there's just not good rat, uh, pass rushers. So let's find out. So in the draft, we're picking at number 11. I'm just gonna sim to that pick because after it's looking through Detroit a lot Lions. of now these options, the there aren't many good ones. And that's sad to see because kind of need there to be good players in the draft to you know rebuild a team. But John Morrison, he looks decent. A block shedding, F finesse. So he's kind of a one trick pony. But it is what it is. He's got hidden dev, 89 strength. I'm going to go back to the second round and trade um, for a pick next year. Uh, because I really, I, I want to bulk up picks Lions for the next couple of years. And it just doesn't make sense to pick a player that's not going to be good. So we'll see if there's anybody offering first round like the... Philadelphia Eagles you take that 100% has been a trade. and then I think we're just gonna skip to the end of the draft let the CPU do the rest and let's take a look at the team going into season number three so this is what the team's gonna be looking like going into year number three Hendon Hooker is regressing I looked at his thing I thought he was a 77 overall last year and when I looked at his motivational or progression history he is legitimately regressing as a 26 year old in the nfl now that that is sad that is really bad so we can't have him around for much longer so this is the year that we move on from him um if we obviously don't make a super bowl and he keeps regressing i gave him three years to prove himself and he didn't so if he doesn't do well this year it's going to be a move on but this is our defense i mean it is when it comes to defenses it's it's up there it's really good so i can't say anything about that um, other than that, this team is solid in almost all aspects. I like having Jameer Gibbs play all the roles for running the ball. Gets him the most stats. But let <coughs> my my bad. I'm sorry. Let's go to the midseason mark. And that's more like it. At the midseason mark, we completely flipped the script going 5-1. Five 5-1. and, one. Five and one. That is crazy to me because of how bad we have been doing previously. Maybe me talking trash about how um Hendon Hooker was playing made him want to step up and play better but I don't care because if that's what it took that's what it took and that's good so uh, Penisul we're gonna give him this offer he's excited to stay with the team I I you just need to keep him that that that's all it comes down to is you need to keep all of these guys they're pivotal points to this franchise and if you don't keep them around, they're not really going to be, you know, that good. So, CJ Gardner-Johnson wants to find a better team. We'll deal with him at the end of the season. I'm going to keep Jameer Gibbs. I've I've put a lot into him. And I, I want to see that payout. Taylor Decker. Um, 32, I think you just give him that contract and see. He's excited to stay. Very good, very good. Uh, I think we stop spending money in free agency now, and we start spending money on our own players. That is a good idea. So, let's sim to the end of the season. It looks like we're a Super Bowl contending team right now, but you never know what happens. You could have a really good first half of the season and a really bad second half. So, let's find out where we are. And at the end of the season, we are 11-6. and six. A very very solid showing from us to basically go from f worst to first is beyond me and I love it so much and let's take a look at the stats I want to see how Hendon Hooker did I, he, that's still not crazy numbers that impress me all that much 4,600 yards 37 touchdowns to 11 interceptions obviously much better than normal 1,300 yards, 14 touchdowns for Jameer Gibbs. Probably a big reason why we're winning. Uh, Jamison Williams with 1,000 yards, 5 touchdowns. Our trade piece, Terrence Marshall, 800 yards, 7 touchdowns. Very solid from him. Sam Laporta, 700 yards, 8 touchdowns. Defensively, I'm going to assume they stepped up big time. 
20 and a half sacks for Aiden Hutchinson, 10 and a half for Ed Oliver, six and a half for um, Josh Allen, and four and a half for our rookie. Uh, four f- interceptions for AJ Terrell and three for CJ, three for Daniel Williams, and two for a couple other guys. I mean, this team just kind of stepped up in all aspects of the game to play at this level. So let's sim and see if we're able to beat the Saints in the wild card round. First time we made the playoffs, so hopefully we can do good. And no, we lose in the first round, but it's what it, it is what it is. So we're going to have to go to re-signings. But first, let's take a look at the awards to see if we won anything. And I hope we did. That would be really cool if we could. Um, it doesn't look like there's any Lions for MVP. NFC, Jameer Gibbs fourth for Offensive Player of the Year. Nothing else. Defensive rookie or Defensive Player of the Year is Aiden Hutchinson. Got the 20 and a half sacks. He's going to be going up to Superstar X Factor most likely. Offensive Rookie of the Year, no, um, no Lions. Defensive Rookie of the Year, no Lions. Other than John Morrison at four, but no other Lions. It is what it is. Um, but I'm really glad for Aiden Hutchinson. It'll be a really good piece for our team. But let's go to the re-signings and make sure that we can keep this team so that we can build off of it for next season. So we have to keep negotiating with CJ Gardner-Johnson. But first, I really want to get um, Jameer Gibbs to stay. And he's excited to stay with such a great team. I'm glad he is because I really didn't want to have to try my ass off to get him. Uh, Terrence Marshall, I traded for him for a reason. I think he has a huge amount of potential. He's glad we got an offer done. So am I. I think he's a solid piece to this team and can definitely be a decent player. I'm not going to say superstar. He's kind of already past that. But we're going to give a very player-friendly deal to CJ Gardner-Johnson. He's going to test out free agency. An 89 overall strong safety. 19.2 million a year. I just don't know if that's really doable for us. So I think we're just going to head into free agency in the hopes that we can re that we can sign a guy uh, just like him or him. I think that's the best way to go about this because I don't really see a world where, you know, giving him more than that a year is just kind of crazy to me. Aaron Donald is sitting in, uh, in free agency. Uh, that would be a kind of cool get. Uh, it would be crazy, um, and you're just kind of banking on the fact you win a Super Bowl now. Um, but he is really interested, and it says we're playoff contenders, and that's what he wants to be on. So let's take a look at our team, because if that rookie didn't really do much, I might actually consider it if he doesn't have a good dev trait. I didn't actually check. I'm kind of bad at checking that kind of thing. Uh, we really do need a quarterback, though. That would be really nice to get. He has star dev. He's an 80 overall. Um, Kirby Joseph. I think we move him to strong safety. I don't know. I don't know why he got that dev trait. Um, what is it? What have his stats been? Because I feel like he's gone up way too much. I don't want to edit the player. I want to look at his stats. I, I just, I don't know what, it's, that's like weird to me, because that's like crazy upgrades for him, I don't know if he really deserves it, we're gonna see, I think it may be Madden favoring him, no, he really does not deserve it, I don't know, I don't know what he's done to deserve it, um, but whatever, he's gonna play strong safety for us, we don't need to go after that guy, I think we are going to go after Aaron Donald, though. Now that money has not really an issue, we can just kind of go after him, give him give him what he wants, basically. Push everything at him. I think it'd be a really good get for us. Um, I think we'll give him two years, a two-year deal. He wants to be here. The Cowboys are winning on him. I'm not going to let that happen, actually. Let's see. Uh, they're still winning. I... Sheesh. I can't I can't let the Cowboys win. I'm gonna give him a very player friendly deal. It's three years. If he stays for the full three years, that's really good. If he retires, that's good too. What? I nuts. I really want I want Aaron Donald. I'm gonna give him one year. 
and give him a ton of money for one year. Length? Ah, oh, he doesn't like that length. Okay. Okay, um, very player friendly. Up the money. Um, everything else is good. And we're leading on him. Let's submit it through. And we get Aaron Donald. We're going to have a very dominant team. I, I just want to say that. Our defense is going to be really, really good. And I'm excited to see it. I don't really think we need much in the draft. So I have to think. I really have to think. So in the draft, we pick at number 14. <clears throat> Sorry, voice crack. But there's a quarterback that looks like he is the next Tom Brady. And I don't mean that in like a sense of he can't run. I mean that in a sense of he is so good. So we have to go up with the Cardinals. We have to get the number one overall pick somehow because I don't think... I don't know if it's possible. If we send in two first-round picks to get it, it Ladies is. And it's very possible, we and trade. we're going to do that because he looks to be, like, one of the best quarterbacks I've seen when it comes to drafting. And Preston Kramer, top five, A deep accuracy, A medium accuracy, A short accuracy, A under pressure. The A's just go on and on. F spin move, C throw on the run, C juke move, B carrying, B stiff arm. You don't really care about that stuff, though. You care about how he can throw the ball as a quarterback, and that's exactly what he can do. No, and he is a 96 clock. overall with, a, with 79 speed, 86 change of direction. He looks to be absolutely incredible. I don't have to trade with anyone else um, in this draft or I don't have to pick anyone else in this draft. Our team is really On solid clock, as no. is. I think we trade Lion. away the pick again for a first overall pick next year, if possible, just because of how easy it was to flip that pick into this guy. But I'm not seeing a first. I think I'm just going to pick the more picks from the Panthers. Uh, all 2026, 20, 2025. You love to see that. So we're going to sim to the end of the draft. And we're going to take a look at this quarterback in depth because he looks so good. So let's take a look at this guy. I, I mean, he looks incredible. So I don't know what he's going to be. Why? 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 I hate, I hate this game sometimes. There's a glitch going on right now, at least for PC. I don't know if it happens to everyone, but at least for me, I get to see their dev trait. Like, off the get-go. And I hate it. It's absolutely like it's terrible i i don't like it because i i want the the immersion of not knowing but i know now i mean he's an 80 overall with superstar x factor development 96 throw power 82 deep accuracy i mean his accuracies are all really good i mean he's not the best scrambler he has 99 injury because it's boosted to that but i think we're just going to sim to the mid-season mark and see how this team is doing i can't see us do worse than we you know, I think we can do better than we did last year. I just think it might be hard because it's a rookie quarterback, but it's Madden, so you never know. At the midseason mark, we're six and one. We have a breakout defensive back, and I just I don't know. This team this team is really good. This team is really, really good. And unless the Marquise fairly gets an upgrade, so he'd be going to superstar dev, I'm pretty sure. Let's take a look at the stats. I just I want to see what our quarterback's doing. He's third in the NFL, 2,000 yards, 18 touchdowns to four interceptions, 498 yards, four touchdowns for Jameer Gibbs. Our wide receivers are doing something this year, and defensively, Aaron Donald seven and a half sacks, Aiden Hutchinson six, Ed Oliver five, Josh Allen. This is just a really solid defensive unit and a like really solid team overall. I think every aspect of this team has some kind of superstar it factor to it, which is something I really like to see. I really want to see the, um, I was thinking about something that I wanted to see. Oh yes. I wanted to make sure that Terrence Marshall is in the slot. I, I he's already up to an 83. We have Hen Hooker. I might trade him. 
um, for someone or something. I really don't know what I could do though for him. Terrence Marshall is going to be in the slot. We're going to send him to the end of the year. We look playoff contenders by a long shot, and this this NFC North is really easy to win, so hopefully we can make it to the playoffs. This team is a solid 90 overall. I didn't even realize that. It says our middle linebacker is a D, but I'm pretty sure our middle linebacker is Jack Campbell. So I don't know why it would say he's a D for overall, because he's a 91 overall, unless it considers him not a middle linebacker, which he definitely is. But this team is just dominating on every level right now i mean our offense is really good and our defense is really good i just don't know where you could kind of upgrade with this team a defense a d tackle two a right outside linebacker maybe a free safety sorry for the voice crack but our offensive line is really good i mean you could upgrade tight end upgrade wide receiver a little bit but I just don't know how much better you can get. I want to take a look at the stats because to for us to be going crazy like this, yeah, for, in, for his first year, 4,900 yards, 40 touchdowns, 9 interceptions is amazing. 1,200 yards for Jameer Gibbs, 10 touchdowns receiving. Terrence Marshall hit 1,000, 5 touchdowns. Amon Ross St. Brown, 19 touchdowns. Like, what? That's crazy. Aiden Hutchinson, 18 sacks. Ed Oliver, 13. Josh Allen, 13. Aaron Donald, 12 and a half. Like, the fact they're getting that many sacks, it being spread out so much, and a ton of interceptions as well. If we're going to win a Super Bowl, I hope it's this year. Because this team is dominant. Like, this is probably one of the best teams I've rebuilt. And I'm not just saying that. We're going against the Rams in the divisional. Uh, it's basically a battle of... Matthew Stafford uh, but right now I think we can win that 31 to 21 we're going against the 9 and 8 Cowboys who are a really good simulation team but I think our team is better than theirs and it is 32 28 we're going to be going against the Bengals in the Super Bowl let's cross your fingers we can win this is probably the best team that I've made I really want to hop in and actually play with the team a little bit but I don't want to mess it up and lose because I played with the team. So I think I'm gonna go in and do the first offensive drive and then simulate the rest because I really do wanna play with this team. So we're gonna jump in for this first drive. The Bengals scored so the football and will be at I didn't the hit for four on accident. This offense gets set so to we're gonna do the first drive. We're gonna see what we can do. I don't really wanna run that play. Let's try to do more of uh, uh, What are we doing? Okay. On first down. We're gonna throw Kramer. it to Jameer Gibbs. He'll buy some time right. That's a good. He good finds play. his man complete. Good, That's good Gibbs. Play. It'll go as a gain of 25. On a I wanted to do more running. I wanted to kind of play with Jameer Gibbs. This kind of this rebuild's been basically him in a nutshell. On first down. And it's Gibbs. Um, and that's not the best run. Four yards though. Four yards. Four. Four yards. Second and six. Complain. The run um, got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Who do I want to throw to? I don't want to pre-select. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let it go deep. Oh, right side That line. could have been good. I, be I think incomplete. I forced it. Then, I definitely forced it. Probably wasn't the best there, idea. Be Terrence Marshall could be open in the middle of the field here. Now a shotgun I snap as he'll look to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. Oh, he finds his man. I'm glad he didn't react. Because if he would have reacted to that, he's got it would have been. Down, been the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 30. I think we want to flip the run. Yeah, we definitely want to flip to his side. We can get a nice block off there. They'll try to left side. Yeah. Gibbs. 42 could have thrown a better block. Here. Not gonna lie. This it is what it is. Of course, just a huge but one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude. I might straight. normally ask the cliche, what's going through his mind right now? But maybe mm. the better question, CD. What do you I think don't of the like that he got stuck being on a first-time head coach in this defender. game? Well, you know it's something that if he, he did it, about, that he might to, have been thinking about it long before he got might to have this been stage. the end. As the season progressed, and he saw that his team was good, if he was smart, he started to make plans right then and there. 
Reach out to other coaches who've been there before. Okay. Find out how they Not how that was supposed to happen. Losing, Is there holding? All the ticket situations, travel, practice, all those okay. Things. This game just likes to mess me up. Make your best cool. decision. Third and 16 there, kind of forces up the forces us to throw and the ball. Um, after the holding penalty. Third and I don't goal. like that one bit. Rolling to his right. Uh, oh, come back. And what was that? That was terrible. That was really bad. What? They so get the ball. Okay. Going to I messed that up. But if this team can come back from this, that'd be really great to see. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to happen right now. 7 to 17. We were driving. We go up to 10. So 24. 17 to 24. A decent score. 24 24. In the fourth quarter, they go up to 31. This could be really bad for us. We tie the game up. We go into OT. And we do, we win, 34 to 31. That is an amazing score. I even basically disabled ourselves for the to do that. To that was really dumb of me. Trophy. But you know, we've talked to guys that have thank done God it, we won. No this is probably the best rebuild I've done so far on my channel. If you want to check out my other rebuilds, I have a rebuild playlist. And also, and then to finally break if you let me know down in the comments below who you want me to rebuild, I will do alone, them. Don't worry. I also live stream on Kick, the football games. Um, I hope I get a hundred million dollar deal like XQC, not exclusive. Forever. But we'll see. Peace.